One more head Air Force veteran is answering Ukrainian President Zelensky's call to join a foreign legion. This is the first time one has been formed in 80 years, and in nine days he'll be taking off to Poland to join that fight. Valley News team's Alex Larson has more on why this veteran is taking that risk. We're not trying to be heroes, we're just trying to help people. Mark Lindquist says through lots of tears, family and friends have been great in his decision to head to Warsaw. I drove down to Ortonville and sat at their kitchen table the other day, and even as a 40-year-old man, I, I wanted to let mom and dad know the mission that I was being called to complete. He says many veterans from all over the world have also answered the call. World events to c conspire like this, and for us to be on the brink of World War III, veterans everywhere, all 18 million of us U.S. veterans, our ears are perked up to what's going to happen with this world event, certainly involving Putin, and many are answering the call. He says it is not a surprise that so many have. It's just what they do. We've done it before, all of us veterans around the world. We have already pledged to die for somebody who we don't know. It does not matter if that person is in Arkansas or Ukraine, as long as it is for the cause of freedom. Linquist says he submitted an application to the Ukrainian territorial defense and is awaiting the interview process. But if he does not get accepted, that's fine. I will find other ways to serve. He says he and his fellow vets plan to help by setting up more humanitarian contacts. So I'll go down, hopefully with a car or a van that I buy and go to the border and then and then try to go get people out. You know, folks that are orphans that are trapped there that, that, that you know, they need to be rescued. People that uh, can't ride on a train with 2,000 people but could ride in a van, you know. Uh, we're going to try to go extract them uh, if we can get a hold of that van and if we can find a path through the humanitarian zones to go get them. Linquist says he hopes his efforts will be an inspiration for others to find ways of lending a hand. Hopefully this trip can inspire everybody here in town who cares about Ukraine to to know they have, you know, somebody from our area there on the ground giving you a no BS assessment of what's happening. And hopefully people can feel inspired to help through through uh, through this mission. Linquist says this is an open ended commitment and he does not know when he'll be back. Look at the situation that, that made the greatest generation, you know, World War II, that, those folks. And then look at the situation today. I don't know if there's many differences, right? It's very similar. These, these, these uh, uh, you know, bad actors on planet Earth trying to deny people freedom that, that is their, you know, their natural right. In Fargo, Alex Larson, Valley News Live. Linquist says he will soon set up an account at a local bank to allow anyone to make donations.